Chandigarh local pronunciation, TI, listen, is a city and a union territory in India that serves as the capital of the two neighbouring states of Haryana and Punjab. The city is unique as it is not a part of either of the two states but is governed directly by the union government, which administers all such territories in the country. Chandigarh is bordered by the state of Punjab to the north, the west and the south, and to the state of Haryana to the east. It is considered to be a part of the Chandigarh capital region or Greater Chandigarh, which includes Chandigarh, and the city of Panchkula in Haryana and cities of Karar, Karali, Mahali, Jirakpur in Punjab. It is located 260 kilometers 162 miles north of New Delhi, 229 kilometers 143 miles southeast of Amritsar. It was one of the early planned cities in post-independent India and is internationally known for its architecture and urban design. The master plan of the city was prepared by Swiss-French architect Le Corbusier, which transformed from earlier plans created by the Polish architect Maciej Nowicki and the American planner Albert Mayer. Most of the government buildings and housing in the city, were designed by the Chandigarh Capital Project team headed by Le Corbusier, Jane Drew and Maxwell Fry. In 2015, an article published by BBC named Chandigarh as one of the perfect cities of the world in terms of architecture, cultural growth, and modernization. Chandigarh's capital complex was in July 2016 declared by UNESCO as World Heritage at the 40th session of World Heritage Conference held in Istanbul. UNESCO inscription was under the architectural work of Le Corbusier, an outstanding contribution to the modern movement. The capital complex buildings include the Punjab and Haryana High Court, Punjab and Haryana Secretariat and Punjab and Haryana Assembly along with Monuments Open Hand, Martyrs Memorial, Geometric Hill and Tower of Shadow and the Rock Garden. The city has one of the highest per capita income in the country. The city was reported to be one of the cleanest in India based on a national government study. The Union Territory also heads the list of Indian states and territories according to Human Development Index. In 2015, a survey by LG Electronics, ranked it as the happiest city in India over the Happiness Index. The metropolitan area of Chandigarh Mahali Panchkula collectively forms a tri-city, with a combined population of over 1,611,770. History In 1970. The name is derived from Khandi Mandir, an ancient temple devoted to the Hindu goddess Khandi, near the city in Panchkula district, the motif or sobriquet of the city of beauty. Was derived from the city beautiful movement that was a popular philosophy in North American urban planning during the 1890s and 1900s. Architect Albert Mayer, the initial planner of Chandigarh, lamented the American rejection of city beautiful concepts and declared. We want to create a beautiful city. The phrase was used on as a logo in official publications in the 1970s, and is now how the city describes itself. History Early history The city has a prehistoric past. Due to the presence of a lake, the area has fossil remains with imprints of a large variety of aquatic plants and animals, and amphibian life, which were supported by that environment. As it was a part of the Punjab region, it had many rivers nearby where the ancient and primitive settling of humans began. So, about 8,000 years ago, the area was also known to be a home to the Harappans. Modern history Chandigarh was the dream city of India's first Prime Minister, Jawaharlal Nehru. After the partition of India in 1947, the former British province of Punjab was split between mostly Sikhs East Punjab in India and mostly Muslim West Punjab in Pakistan. The Indian Punjab required a new capital city to replace Lahore, which became part of Pakistan during the partition. Therefore, an American planner and architect Albert Mayer was tasked to design a new city called Chandigarh in 1949. 
The government carved out Chandigarh of nearly 50 Pwati speaking villages of the then state of East Punjab, India. Shimla was the temporary capital of East Punjab until Chandigarh was completed in 1960. Albert Mayer, during his work on the development and planning of the new capital city of Chandigarh, developed a superblock based city threaded with green spaces which emphasized cellular neighborhoods and traffic segregation. His site plan used natural characteristics, using its gentle grade to promote drainage and rivers to orient the plan. Mayer discontinued his work on Chandigarh after developing a master plan for the city when his architect partner Matthew Nowicki died in a plane crash in 1950. Government officials recruited Le Corbusier to succeed Mayer and Nowicki, who enlisted many elements of Mayer's original plan without attributing them to him. Le Corbusier designed many administration buildings, including the High Court, the Palace of Assembly, and the Secretariat Building. Le Corbusier also designed the general layout of the city, dividing it into sectors. Chandigarh hosts the largest of Le Corbusier's many open hand sculptures, standing 26 meters high. The open hand La main is a recurring motif in Le Corbusier's architecture, a sign for him of peace and reconciliation. It is open to give and open to receive. It represents what Le Corbusier called the second machine age. Two of the six monuments planned in the capital complex which has the high court, the assembly and the secretariat, remain incomplete. These include Geometric Hill and Martyrs Memorial. Drawings were made, and they were begun in 1956, but they were never completed. On 1 November 1966, the newly formed state of Haryana was carved out of the eastern portion of East Punjab, in order to create a new state for the majority Haryanvi speaking people in that portion, while the western portion of East Punjab retained a mostly Punjabi speaking majority and was renamed as Punjab. Chandigarh was located on the border of both states and the states moved to incorporate the city into their respective territories. However, the city of Chandigarh was declared a union territory to serve as capital of both states. As of 2016, many historical villages in Chandigarh are still inhabited within the modern blocks of sectors including Burail and Ottawa, while there are a number of non-sectoral villages that lie on the outskirts of the city. These villages were a part of the pre-Chandigarh era. Topic. Geography and ecology Topic. Location Chandigarh is located near the foothills of the Savalik Range of the Himalayas in northwest India. It covers an area of approximately 114 square kilometers. It borders the states of Haryana and Punjab. The exact cartographic coordinates of Chandigarh are 30.74 degrees north 76.79 degrees east, 30.74, 76.79. It has an average elevation of 321 meters 1053 feet. The city, lying in the northern plains, includes a vast area of flat, fertile land. Its northeast covers sections of Babar and while the remainder of its terrain is part of the Terai. The surrounding cities are Mahali, Patiala, Jirakpur and Rupnagar in Punjab, and Panchkula and Ambala in Haryana. Chandigarh is situated 114 28 miles northeast of Ambala, 229 kilometers 143 miles southeast of Amritsar and 250 kilometers 156 miles north of Delhi. Topic: Climate Chandigarh has a humid subtropical climate Copen, CWA, characterized by a seasonal rhythm, very hot summers, mild winters, unreliable rainfall and great variation in temperature minus 1 degree Celsius to 46 degrees Celsius or 30.2 degrees Fahrenheit to 114 degrees Fahrenheit. The average annual rainfall is 1,110.7 mm. The city also receives occasional winter rains from the western disturbance originating over the Mediterranean Sea. The western disturbances usually bring rain predominantly from mid-December till end of April which can be heavier sometimes with strong winds and hails if the weather turns colder during March to April months which usually proves disastrous to the crops. Cold winds usually tend to come from the north near Shimla, capital of Himachal Pradesh and from the state of Jammu and Kashmir, both of which receive their share of snowfall during wintertime. The city experiences the following seasons and the respective average temperatures 
Spring, the climate remains the most enjoyable part of the year during the spring season from February end to early April. Temperatures vary between max 13 degrees Celsius to 20 degrees Celsius and min 5 degrees Celsius to 12 degrees Celsius. Autumn, in autumn from September end to mid-November, the temperature may rise to a maximum of 30 degrees Celsius. Temperatures usually remain between 10 degrees to 22 degrees in autumn. The minimum temperature is around 6 degrees Celsius. Summer, the temperature in summer from mid-April to June end may rise to 44 degrees Celsius. The temperatures might sometime rise to 44 degrees Celsius in mid-June. Temperatures generally vary between 40 and 42 degrees Celsius. Monsoon, during monsoon from early July to mid-September, Chandigarh receives moderate to heavy rainfall and sometimes heavy to very heavy rainfall generally during the month of August or September. Usually, the rain-bearing monsoon winds blow from southwest, southeast. Mostly, the city receives heavy rain from south which is mainly a persistent rain but it generally receives most of its rain during monsoon either from northwest or northeast. The maximum amount of rain received by the city of Chandigarh during monsoon season is 195.5 mm in a single day. Winter, winters November end to February end are mild but they can sometimes get quite chilly in Chandigarh. Average temperatures in the winter remain at max 5 degrees Celsius to 14 degrees Celsius and min minus 1 degree Celsius to 5 degrees Celsius. Rain usually comes from the west during winters and it is usually a persistent rain for two to three days with sometimes hailstorms. The city witnessed bone-numbing chill as the maximum temperature on Monday 7 January 2013 plunged to a 30-year low to settle at 6.1 degrees Celsius. Topic. Ecosystem Most of Chandigarh is covered by dense banyan and eucalyptus plantations. Ashoka, cassia, mulberry and other trees flourish in the forested ecosystem. The city has forests surrounding that sustain many animal and plant species. Deer, sambars, barking deer, parrots, woodpeckers and peacocks inhabit the protected forests. Sukhna Lake hosts a variety of ducks and geese, and attracts migratory birds from parts of Siberia and Japan in the winter season. The Parrot Bird Sanctuary Chandigarh situated in Sector 21 of the city provides home to a large number of parrots. Sukhna Wildlife Sanctuary was declared a wildlife sanctuary in 1998. <laughs> Landscape. Sukhna Lake, a 3 km artificial rain-fed lake in Sector 1, was created in 1958 by damming the Sukhna Cho, a seasonal stream coming down from the Shivalik Hills. Chandigarh has a belt of parks running from sector to sector. It is known for its green belts and other special tourist parks. Sukhna Lake itself hosts the Garden of Silence. The Rock Garden, also known as Nekchand Rock Garden after its founder, is located near the Sukhna Lake and has numerous sculptures made by using a variety of different discarded waste materials like frames, mudguards, forks, handle bars, metal wires, play marbles, porcelain, auto parts, broken bangles etc. The 30-40 acre Zakir Hussain Rose Garden contains nearly 825 varieties of roses in it and more than 32,500 varieties of other medicinal plants and trees. Other gardens include the Garden of Fragrance in Sector 36, Garden of Palms in Sector 42, Butterfly Park in Sector 26, Valley of Animals in Sector 49, the Japanese Garden in Sector 31 and the Terraced Garden in Sector 33. Shanti Kunj Garden located between Rose Garden and Cricket Stadium in Sector 16 is another garden full of flora and fauna. This garden contains plenty of medicinal plants which are used to cure many diseases, the Botanical Garden and the Bougainvillea Garden. There is also a government museum and art gallery in Sector 10C having collections of sculptures and miniature paintings. Demographics. Population 
As of 2011 India census, Chandigarh had a population of 1,055,450, making for a density of about 9,252 7 persons per square kilometre. Males constitute 55% of the population and females 45%. The sex ratio is 818 females for every 1,000 males which is the third lowest in the country, up from 773 in 2001. The child sex ratio is 880 females per 1,000 males, up from 819 in 2001. Chandigarh has an average literacy rate of 86.77%, higher than the national average, with male literacy of 90.81% and female literacy of 81.88%. 10.8% of the population is under 6 years of age. There has been a substantial decline in the population growth rate in Chandigarh, with just 17.10% growth between 2001 to 2011. Since, 1951 to 1961 the rate has decreased from 394.13% to 17.10%. This is probably because of rapid urbanization and development in neighboring cities. The urban population constitutes of as high as 97.25% of the total and the rural population makes up 2.75% as there are only few villages within Chandigarh on its western and southeastern border and majority of people live in the heart of Chandigarh. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Languages. English is the sole official language of Chandigarh. The majority of the population speaks Hindi while Punjabi is spoken by 22.03%. Government schools use English, Hindi and Punjabi textbooks. <inaudible> religion Hinduism is the prominent religion of Chandigarh followed by 80.78% of the population. Sikhism is the second most popular religion in the city followed by 13.11% of the people. In Chandigarh city Islam is followed by 4.87%. Minorities are Christians 0.83%, Jains 0.19%, Buddhists 0.11%, those that didn't state a religion are 0.10%, and others are 0.02%. Many institutions serve the minorities in the city. One such being the Roman Catholic Diocese of Simla and Chandigarh, serving the Catholics, which even has a co-cathedral in the city, Christ the King Co-Cathedral, although it never was a separate bishopric. Most of the convent schools of Chandigarh are governed by this institution. Chandigarh hosts many religious places, including Chandamandir, the temple after which it was named. The Iskan Temple in Sector 36 is one among the worship places for Hindus. Nada Sahib Gurudwara, a famous place for Sikh worship lies in its vicinity. Apart from this, there are a couple of historical mosques in Manamadra and Topic: Economy Chandigarh has been rated as one of the wealthiest towns of India. The Reserve Bank of India ranked Chandigarh as the third largest deposit centre and seventh largest credit centre nationwide as of June 2012. With a per capita income of 99,262 rupees, Chandigarh is one of the richest cities in India. Chandigarh's gross state domestic product for 2014-15 is estimated at 0.29 lakh rupees crore, 4.3 billion dollars in current prices. According to a 2014 survey, Chandigarh is ranked fourth in the top 50 cities identified globally as emerging outsourcing and IT services destinations, ahead of cities like Beijing. Topic employment The government is a major employer in Chandigarh with three governments having their base here i.e. Chandigarh administration, Punjab government and Haryana government. A significant percentage of Chandigarh's population therefore consists of people who are either working for one of these governments or have retired from government service mainly armed forces. For this reason, Chandigarh is often called a pensioner's paradise. Ordnance Cable Factory of the Ordnance Factories Board has been set up by the Government of India. There are about 15 medium to large industries including two in the public sector. In addition Chandigarh has over 2,500 units registered under small-scale sector. 
The important industries are paper manufacturing, basic metals and alloys and machinery. Other industries are relating to food products, sanitary ware, auto parts, machine tools, pharmaceuticals and electrical appliances. The main occupation here is trade and business. However, the Punjab and Haryana High Court, Postgraduate Institute of Medical Education and Research PGIMER, the availability of an IT park and more than a hundred of government schools provide job opportunity to people. Four major trade promotion organizations have their offices in Chandigarh. These are, the Associated Chambers of Commerce and Industry, ASSOCHAM India in Sector 8 Chandigarh, Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry, FICHI, the PhD Chamber of Commerce and Industry, PhDCCI, and the Confederation of Indian Industry, CII, which has its regional headquarters at Sector 31, Chandigarh, Chandigarh IT Park, also known as Rajiv Gandhi Chandigarh Technology Park, is the city's attempt to break into the information technology world. Chandigarh's infrastructure, proximity to Delhi, Haryana, Punjab and Himachal Pradesh, and the IT talent pool attracts IT businesses looking for office space in the area. Major Indian firms and multinational corporations like Quark, Infosys, Every, Dell, IBM, Techmahindra, Airtel, Amadeus IT Group, DLF have set up base in the city and its suburbs. The work of the Chandigarh Metro is likely to start by the year 2019. It was initially opposed by the Member of Parliament from Chandigarh, Kiran Kerr, with estimated cost of around 10,900 crore rupees including 50% funds from the governments of Punjab and Haryana and 25% from Chandigarh and Government of India. Funds from the Japanese government will include approximately 56% of the cost. Kerr promised a film city for Chandigarh. After winning the seat, she said that she had difficulty in acquiring land in Chandigarh. However, her proposal was accepted by the Chandigarh administration and the film city is proposed to be set up in Saringpur, Chandigarh. These are seen as media of creating jobs. Politics Chandigarh, as a union territory, is not entitled to a state-level election, thus state assembly elections are not held and it is directly controlled by the central government. However, one seat is contested here for the general elections held every five years. The following members of parliament have been elected till date from the Chandigarh constituency. The city is controlled by a civic administration. In the municipal corporation, BJP candidate Arun Sood defeated Congress's Mukesh Basi by 21 to 15 votes for the post of mayor, while BJP's Davish Modgil and SAD's Hardeep Singh defeated Congress's Darshan Garg and Gurbax Rawat for the posts of senior. Deputy mayor and deputy mayor respectively, in the municipal corporation's mayoral polls in January 2016. In January 2017 BJP's Asha Kumari Jaswal was elected as the mayor, BJP's Rajesh Kumar Gupta and Anil Dubey were elected as senior deputy mayor and deputy mayor respectively. Composition of Chandigarh Municipal Corporation as of February 2017. Topic education There are numerous educational institutions in Chandigarh. These range from privately and publicly operated schools to colleges and the Punjab University. Other institutions are Postgraduate Institute of Medical Education and Research PGIMER, GOVT Medical College and Hospital, Punjab Engineering College Deemed University, GOVT College for Men, GOVT College for Women, DAV College, MCMDAV College for Women, Goswami Ganesh Dutta Sanatan Dharma College Sector 32, GOVT Homeopathic College, Ayurvedic College, GOVT Polytechnical College, GOVT Home Science College, Dr. Ambedkar Institute of Hotel Management, Khalsa College Sec 26, National Institute of Technical Teachers Training and Research NITTTR Sec 26, Government College of Commerce and Business Administration GCCBA Sec 50 etc. According to Chandigarh Administration's Department of Education, there are a total of 115 government schools in Chandigarh, including Government Model Senior Secondary School, Sector 16 and Convent Schools like St. Stephen's School, St. John's High School, Chandigarh, St. Anne's Convent School, Sacred Heart Senior Secondary School, St. Kabir Public School, St. Xavier's Senior Secondary School and Carmel Convent School. Topic. 
Transport Road Chandigarh has the largest number of vehicles per capita in India. Wide, well-maintained roads and parking spaces all over the city ease local transport. The Chandigarh Transport Undertaking CTU operates public transport buses from its Interstate Bus Terminals ISBT in sectors 17 and 43 of the city. CTU also operates frequent bus services to the neighboring states of Punjab, Haryana, Himachal Pradesh and to Delhi. Chandigarh is well connected by road to the following nearby cities, by the following highway routes NH7 to Patiala in the southwest. NH152 to Imbala in the south NH44 catches up from Imbala to Panipat Delhi. NH5 to Shimla in the northeast, and to Ludhiana in the west. Air Chandigarh Airport has scheduled commercial flights to major cities of India including Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata, Hyderabad, Bangalore, Pune, Chennai, Leh, Srinagar, Jaipur, Lucknow, Ahmedabad and Indore. The airport has international flights to Bangkok, Dubai and Sharjah. Rail. Chandigarh Junction Railway Station lies in the Northern Railway Zone of the Indian Railway Network and provides connectivity to most of the regions of India. It provides connectivity to eastern states with link to cities like Kolkata, Dibrugarh, southern states with trains to Visakhapatnam, Tiruvananthapuram, Bangalore, Chennai, Madurai and Kolam, western states with trains to Jaipur, Ahmedabad, Mumbai and Pune, central states with trains to Bhopal and Indore, other northern states with trains to Lucknow, Amritsar, Ludhiana, Ambala, Panipat and Kalka. Culture Topic <inaudible> Festivals Every year, in September or October during the festival of Navratri, many associations and organizations hold a Ramlila event which has been conducted for over 50 years, the Rose Festival. In Zakir Hussain Rose Garden in February every year, shows thousands of subspecies of roses. The Mango Festival, held during the monsoons, and other festivals are held at Sukhna Lake. Christmas, Easter, and Good Friday are the other major festivals in the city. <laughs> Sports The Sector 16 Stadium has been a venue of several international cricket matches. But it has lost prominence after the PCA Stadium was constructed in Mahali. It still provides a platform for cricketers in this region to practice and play interstate matches. The Chandigarh Golf Club has 7,202 yard, 18 hole course known for its challenging narrow fairways, a long 613 yard long, dogleg seventh hole, and floodlighting on the first nine holes. There are many other sports grounds and complex like the Lake Sports Complex, sports complexes in sectors 7, 42, 46, Table Tennis Hall, Sector 23, Hockey Center, Sector 18, Football. Football Stadium, Sector 17, Skating Rink, Sector 10, Wrestling, Basketball and Handball Indoor Hall, Sector 42, CLTA Lawn Tennis Grounds, Sector 10, Athletics Stadium, Sector 7 and 26 Police Lines, Volleyball Courts, Sector 7 and so on. Many personalities from this region have excelled in sports. Notable people from Chandigarh Gallery See also India – Wikipedia book New Chandigarh city Chandigarh capital region Mahali Panchkula Pinjor Kalkambala Chandigarh Expressway Notes <laughs>